Good morning, Jerry and Will, Average Guy Cigars. We had posted a video, I guess, last week. Sometime. Recently, uh, suggesting Father's Day gifts and got lots of comments back. And we mentioned accessories and, you know, being cigar guys, we know what we're talking about, but a lot of folks weren't exactly sure what we meant by accessories. So I brought up a little box of goodies that I, that I keep all my stuff in. And uh, tell you what, we'll actually start with the box. You can, if you'd like, if you can find a nice box. This is a uh, kind of a heavy wooden box, a box of cigars. Uh, obviously the cigars, as you can see, long gone. Uh, this was the uh, autographed by Jose Pepin Garcia at an event. They're my father's cigar box. And I keep all my accessories, uh, cutters, lighters, stuff like that in there. So that's a nice gift idea, a good kind of heavy wooden cigar box. Every cigar smoker needs a cutter. And there are about as many different kinds of cutters as there are cigars. This is a single blade guillotine cutter. You can see, I hope you can see it's got one blade. Help me out, Mr. Video Guy, is that good? Yes, good. One blade. But there are dual blade guillotine cutters. As you can see there, two blades. There's what Will showed, I think, previously in, an, in, in one of our videos, a perfect cutter. It's got a hole on the back, so if you have a torpedo-shaped cigar, it goes through there. A bigger cigar, a regular cigar foot will sit in here and it will cut the right depth off. So you always get the perfect cut, hence the name perfect cutter. This is a plain black one. Will's got one pretty shiny gold looking one. Uh, another type of guillotine cutter. You'll see a lot of uh, companies have their uh, their logos on this. That's a Gurkha cutter, but it's uh, I think a Calibri cutter, that type mm -hmm. of cutter. Yeah, Calibri cutter. And you just squeeze and cut and it locks when you're done. There's other kinds of cutters. This is a shuriken cutter. We did a review on that, and you look at that. It's got little razor blades in it. So those are cutters. And as you know, there's a whole whole raft of cutters out there you can get. And you can go from a buck ninety-five a piece to twenty or thirty or forty or fifty bucks for a cutter if you like. Uh, lighters. Will and I tend to use a triple flame lighter, and this is a triple flame lighter. Uh, it's got three little ports on the lighters. You can see there. It makes three individual flames merge into one. So if your cigar smoker smokes a bigger ring gauge cigar, something 50 or bigger, I went up in the 60s like we do, a triple flame lighter is really good. And these are seven, eight bucks, and a lot of places you can get them even a little carrying case, fits in your pocket nice. Uh, there are quad flame lighters, and that's what this is, four flames for yet bigger ring gauge cigars. Uh, I've got a really nice Zycar, came with a case. It's a single flame lighter, it's my, my only only knock on it's a single flame, but I knew that when I bought it. And it's got a magnetic cutter, sticks to it. It's a dual blade cutter, dual blade guillotine cutter, sticks to it. So you grab one thing yeah. in its little case, you stick it in your pocket, you got a lighter, which is a very serviceable lighter even for a, a single flame. You got everything in one in one shot there. If your cigar smoker carries cigars with them, if they go out of town and take cigars, like I'm going out of town soon, gonna be gone for a week, I'm gonna have to take some cigars. For a short trip, for a day trip, a uh, little uh, cigar humidor or portable humidor. This one is leather. It's a uh, uh, Hoya de Monterey, but I mean, that's just, you know, the, these things are available and companies get them, put their logo on them. Uh, Cedar Lined. They're also what's commonly called a Herfador. This is a Zycar brand. Uh, got from one of the kids. Uh, Will's got one similar. Is it Zycar? No, it's Herfador. But it's essentially the same thing. And you look. It's foam lined. This one actually has another layer of foam in it. I usually pack it full. That little layer of foam has to get tossed out. But it, you can uh, <laughs> you can put some in there, put the foam on, put some more in there. Uh, keeps them sealed up tight. Keeps the humidity right on. I actually use mine every Friday. I'll uh, pack it up Thursday night with, with my lighters and cutters, and I go out with some friends Friday nights to a bar and stop at a cigar shop, get a cigar, and just take my Herfador with me full of my cigar accessories. A neat little thing I've recently purchased. This came from Thompson's. They're the only ones that carry it. It's called a draw poker. If your cigar is rolled a little tight, you can't get a good draw through it, you take, take it apart, put the cigar in, put the top back on it, and there's several holes on the end, depending on the ring gauge of the cigar. You can insert this draw poker through it, and what it does is essentially runs a little hole all the way through it, through the cigar, and allows you to get a cigar that's rolled really tight to draw better. There's a few ideas of what we're talking about by accessories. You can spend as little as $3 and get something. You can spend as much as $100 and get something. Uh, I'd so, say we probably spent probably close to 500 bucks on accessories overall. I hope, my mom, hope, hope your mom my wife didn't watch this video. But anyway, uh, <laughs> yes, there's a bunch of money accessories. Uh, and, yeah, and, and it's talking about gifts. This is one of the nicest. This is a quad flame, five flame, 
uh, lighter I uh, got for Christmas a couple years ago. Thank you, Will. Mm -hmm. Use it all the time because, again, we smoke bigger ring gauge cigars, and the more flame you got, the quicker you got it lit. I thought it was a welding torch initially. It's got a little uh, little <laughs> screwdriver on the bottom for adjusting the flame. And it uh, too, it's it? got yeah. I'll get to that in just a second. And it's got a uh, three different size punches. So depending on what ring gauge cigar you're smoking, you can uh, appropriately punch it. So there's a lot of gift ideas. Yes, we went through this pretty quick, but we've also learned that if our video is more than about three minutes long, we lose people. So we tried to go through it pretty fast and get everything where you get an idea of what we're talking about. Go to your local cigar shop. Get on CI, uh, Cigars International, Cigars.com. Amazon. Thompson's, Amazon. Uh, uh, Perfect Smoke, uh, uh, the uh, uh, Famous Smoke, Famous, I don't know what going on. Cigar shop, it just lost me. It's, it's online. Look up cigars online if you want to order something like that. You can go to your local cigar shops. What I would recommend if you got a good shop locally. Here we got Perfect Smoke in Salisbury. See those guys; they can fix you up with something. So there's a, a more specific gift ideas. By all means, if we went through this so fast, you got questions, send us a comment or a question. We'll be glad to answer. Them. Will's really good about getting emails returned. So thanks. Uh, click like at the bottom of the screen if you enjoyed our video, and we'll see you next time.